What happened was, it was supposed to land in the morning, early. So we went down there early, like 5.30, when, or 6.30 when I finished working. And uh, see, it had to land either early or late because they didn't have enough people at Lakehurst to act as a landing crew. So they used to pay the people in the village of Tom's River and the other areas around there the, a dollar an hour to come out and help pull the, the Zeppelin down when it came in. And they, they, a lot of them did that before they went to work or after they went to work. So the Zeppelin usually used to land at around 7 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock at night. And well, the weather was so bad at 7 o'clock in the morning, they decided to try and attempt to land at 7 o'clock that night. And actually, it was pulling up to the mooring mast. It was 7.33 on the evening of May 6th, 1937, when it attempted to land. And what happened, to best of my recollection, there was a streak of fire up above the fin, next to the fin on the upper side of the, uh, of the Zeppelin in the rear. And uh, from that point, it, it rapidly it became involved in flames and fell down. From everything that I read and all of the things that I've studied, and from what I believe to be true, the bomb was set by one of the crew members. And he set that bomb that was timed after the thing landed and everybody got off, the Zeppelin itself would blow up with nobody getting hurt. There were about 90, 99 or 98 people on it, and 33 of them, I think 33 of them died, and the other 66 managed to get off and save their lives. I was at least a mile away from that thing, because it was so big in order to cover it. And it was such a blast of heat from that exploding hydrogen that my eyebrows were burned right off my face. I was working with a speed graphic camera, which was a four by five camera, a very standard press item at that time. It started to rain and it rained so hard that the bellows got soaked. Just I couldn't use the camera. And the shutter jammed from the water in it. And luckily I had a 35 millimeter Zeiss Contax camera under my coat. And of course, after the explosion, the main explosion, which I missed because of, of the camera not functioning, I managed to get the follow-on set of pictures with the, with the 35 millimeter camera. This Zeppelin was five city blocks long, and it took about 33 seconds for that whole thing to be consumed in flames. When you work on a newspaper, you become impersonal to things that are going on around you. You're not becoming part of the problem. You're there to photograph it. I made pictures that they wouldn't publish because they were gruesome. But uh, as that thing came closer to Earth, some of the crew members jumped out because the heat was so great and the fire was so great. They jumped out from 40 and 50 and 60 feet in the air and a number of them died. And one of them landed maybe not 25 feet away from me. He was, he was one of their members of the crew. I photographed that, but they never were able to publish that. It was just considered not, uh, not the kind of material to put in a public paper.